Hey everyone, back again. Okay, uh, some interesting stuff. Uh, last time the uh, uh, <laughs> I had the base connection removed, and uh, when I came closer with that uh, other coil, um, it uh, just sort of, I don't know, uh, snuffed it out for a little sec there, and so uh, just connecting the uh, uh, base resistor back to uh, get the initial startup going um, and then that can be removed and doesn't have any effect anymore actually once you uh, once you have it on or once it's running anyway um, so the weird thing is uh, still got this uh, you know AC sine wave on the uh, uh, negative of the DC that you should just be seeing you know DC I think that uh, what is uh, the active part going in is between here and there is that tiny positive bump and then a little bit of ring but there's some uh, noise going on that's causing it to oscillate in between there um, and uh, but anyway that's what you're seeing that is the result of um, I get well as the result when the uh, everything is the most active uh, and so yesterday we were looking at uh, four point or sorry point four four two I believe and now the current flowing through there is uh, point four seven six um, the only diode that's in this circuit is uh, within the transistor itself is because uh, the transistor is basically two diodes back to back um, so uh, that must uh, or that could possibly be you know somehow rectifying current and keeping it uh, within the system I guess uh, minus the stuff that's uh, being produced in light but um, it doesn't seem like the uh, LEDs are are drawing it down. You'd think that uh, if we're just running on this one battery, that at some point it would be, you know, it would uh, at one time be running at a certain current, and afterwards it would be running on. It would have to be running on a lower current. But anyway, the operating current has. Uh, gone up. We've got the uh, capacitor in the same spot. Resistance is all the way up. And it's going through a mega ohm as well as a 47k. And um, yeah, it's still going along really well. Really impressed. And so uh, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, the only thing that was wrong was that that uh, resistor connection was left off of the base. And the base also goes to uh, the uh, that uh, connection there. Anyway, that's pretty cool stuff. So, I'll uh, take a picture of a schematic and post that in the description later on. Looks, looks like it's going along pretty nice. So that's um, uh, either 20 gauge or 18 gauge on the very bottom. Uh, 22 gauge, secondary, 30 turns. So 9 turns, 30 turns. And... Uh, several hundred turns, 2.5 uh, times the uh, diameter of the uh, of the resonator is what I made the, the length of it and a uh, slim uh, beer can on the top there uh, I've got a tap on every turn and um, so I can kind of describe it anyway, it comes positive off the battery into this uh, big sort of uh, junction here um, so there's a, a tuning capacitor across the primary coil 
Um, so wherever I decide to tap it, I still have the same capacitance that I can adjust. And um, it seemed to be the eighth turn uh, out of the nine was the best. And uh, I could put a, to a larger top load on that and then use, uh, uh, I'd probably need another turn. Uh, could go down another turn on the primary to make it ring a little lower. Um, but uh, these proportions, <coughs> excuse me, seem to work pretty well. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really impressed. Uh, these are uh, 2.1 volt LEDs actually. So yeah, we need uh, at least 6 volts to reach across here uh, with any sort of brightness. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> we'll see if I can uh, do that again with the, uh, just try to read the field. So it's on auto, the times 10 setting, and uh, yeah, you can see, start over, over here by the meter, get closer, 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 and then about to here before the lights start to dim, so I don't want to do that. Okay. It's about, uh, it's about one megahertz, the, uh, the frequency right now, if you're wondering. And that's just, a uh, happens to be what the resonator and top load are ringing at. So, uh, another thing is if I connect a, kind of a larger piece of aluminum to the to the probe here. See that? So now when we have a look so now we can read Before I put the lights out, it can get up to yeah seven and a half volts with the load on in uh, mid air. So it's got to be more than that with the direct connection. And um, Pretty, pretty exciting. <laughs> so, experiments will continue and the voltages will go up. <laughs> um, the only problem is uh, having, res finding, uh, sorry, transistors that um, have, you know, a nice high uh, gain. Uh, HFE with um, uh, and then exposing it to the the base connection of the oscillating resonator is uh, something not every transistor can handle as uh, many people know uh, but I'd love to hear you know what uh, what's the best place to put the LEDs and because <laughs> uh, I'm just wondering if between the emitter to the base is the best place for these. If the, you know, base of possibly emitter to ground would be the best or something like that. But uh, without the ground coming in to uh, connect directly um, to the emitter there, it doesn't seem to want to work properly. It does still sort of work, but uh, uh, the current changes, the lights go dim. So with the ground, it uh, really seems to be pretty good. Anyway, talk to you guys later.